It's not the people that are the problem. It's not the celebrities that are a problem. It's what's behind that. It's the head of the problem. It's the signs and symbols. It's the powers and principalities, the rulers of darkness. It goes far beyond one individual like this individual for an example. It's not Ruby Rose that is the problem that we fight against. She's being used by something that I don't think she fully understands. I don't fully understand. I don't think many people do. So she's a celebrity. They use her as a face and a name to promote things. She came out as a lesbian when she was 12. She wants to save up money to transition from a female to be a male. She now considers, considers herself gender fluid. Okay, so this is one agenda. The gay and trans agenda, the gender fluid agenda. It's not man and woman like God made. It's whatever you want. It's do what thou wilt. It's make it up as you go. And what am I talking about again? It's not Ruby Rose we have the problem with. It's the signs and symbols. It's the powers and forces behind this. We know it's, you know, it comes down to it's Satan. Devil horns, the signs and symbols that rule the world. Vow of silence, one eye symbolism. Freemason sign of fidelity, one eye symbolism. One eye symbolism, you could make three sixes too if you want. One eye symbolism, flipping us off. Devil horns, gender fluid. Sign of fidelity, devil horns. Osiris risen pose, one eye symbolism. It's not Ruby Rose that's the problem. It would be wonderful if this person found Jesus and was like, you know, born again with eyes to see and ears to hear, a changed heart, a changed mind, repentant. We all need to do these things. Pointing this stuff out should make people wonder and question the world and what they like for entertainment, what gets pushed in this world, what goes in the media, what people... You know, these are false idols. People look up to them. People admire them. People take, you know, what they do. They mimic and copy and want to be like them. Brothers and sisters, stay strong in the truth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It seems everything is out in the open now. Another reason for the end times. Knowledge has increased. You know, anybody can do this now, I believe. They just choose not to. They're busy and some things I understand, but I really don't understand because... Having faith today in Jesus Christ for salvation and more is so urgent. It should be the number one thing everyone's doing. We're running out of time. God bless you all. Amen.